Good morning. My name is Sabrina, and welcome to our meditation service. I'd like you to go ahead and take a minute and silence your cell phone. God is already here, so nobody else is going to be calling you. Thank you. And we do ask if you choose to move forward, because if anybody comes in a little bit later, we're going to ask them to seat toward the back. So if you want to move any closer so as not to be disturbed, please do that now. I've been dancing a little with the phrases of make it real, heart, and the Christ consciousness. And as I've thought about those the last week or so, different pieces have been coming up. Recognizing that we are all the Christ consciousness, there is the one I am. I'd like to read to you a few words from the Science of Mind text, which is actually from John 14, 1, and these are part of the teachings of Jesus. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God believe also in me. His disciples were depressed, having an instinctive sense that Jesus was about to depart from them. They were filled with sadness. It was on the eve of his betrayal that he spoke these words, let not your heart be troubled, with that calm certainty which has ever been given to the believing. He was not afraid. He had already plumbed the depths of human existence and penetrated into the beyond. He knew that he was an immortal being. Our hearts are troubled over many things and our mental burdens often become unbearable. It seems at times as though a cup of bitterness were being held to unwilling drink, uh, lips with the demand that they drink. Jesus, standing at the threshold of his greatest experience, foreknew that he would turn apparent defeat into glorious victory. From the calm depths of an undisturbed soul, he spoke words of comfort to those of lesser understanding. He told them to believe in God, and because of their belief in God, to believe also in him. Again, he is referring to the individual I, as the outward manifestation of the universal I am. We are to believe in ourselves because we believe in God. The two are one. We are to know that passing events cannot hinder the onward march of the soul. The temporal imperfection of the human cannot dim the eternal integrity of the divine. And as I read those words and have been reflecting on them, I know that as I've danced with an illusion of heart, that something else was coming forth and it had to do with make it real. So while we spent yesterday helping to begin the clean out of a home of a recently deceased, this individual smoked quite a bit and we were in a lot of uh, smoke odor. So I don't know how my voice is going to be, but you've got what you've got. So I invite you to just settle in. And these are the words of God. Close your eyes if that feels good to you. Just let your hands rest on your legs. And just settle in, whatever feels right. I am the work of heart, a brilliant light for all to see, perfect in every part, heaven and earth and harmony, the beauty of my face reveals a life of grace. I am a work of heart a masterpiece. 
You are a work of heart, a brilliant light for all to see, perfect in every part, heaven and earth and harmony, the beauty of your face reveals a life of grace. You are a work of heart, a masterpiece. We are a work of heart a brilliant light for all to see, perfect in every part, heaven and earth and harmony, the beauty of our face reveals a life of grace. We are a work of heart, a masterpiece. We are a work of heart, a masterpiece. So now thinking, letting yourself settle deeper into the words work of heart. Look inwardly first. I am a work of heart, a brilliant light for all to see, perfect in every part, heaven and earth and harmony, the beauty of my face reveals a life of grace. I am a work of heart, a masterpiece. as I speak in the first person for each one here. I am. Let not my heart be troubled. As you stay centered in that I am that I am. Think of the others around you as individuals, 
individual expressions of the divine. And the phrase, you are a work of heart. Who are those people? The ones in your life that you want to remind yourself that you, whoever they are, you are a work of art. As you ponder those you, whoever the you is out there, remembering that they are a work of heart, know too that their hearts are not troubled. And in the expansion of knowing that we are the Christ consciousness, we are that I am, each individually, each collectively, for there is but one. Expand now your vision of this planet, of the people of every ethnic group, each gender, every age, every creed, and religion. And know that we, collectively, we are a work of heart. 
we are a work of that divine, that infinite energy always pulsing. We are a work of art. every part of people from around this planet to just come into your mind and flow out and know that they are that great I am because we are a work of heart.
as individual expressions of the divine. I, you, and we are masterpieces. yourself as a masterpiece. Can you see another being as a masterpiece? You see the planet, everyone, everywhere, every how, everything as a masterpiece. And how do we make that real? So in just a moment, Joe's going to play a song for us from Jan and J.D. Garrett. And it's about keeping it real. And it's about, my favorite made up word is majicular magical and spectacular. And it's about the dreams, the dreams that we dream big, the magic that we make, and that it all starts with our heart. So just as the song plays, I'm gonna ask for an assistant that doesn't know he's about to be asked because I just decided, Michael, would you be my assistant for this? Michael's going to have a dish. He's going to stand in front of the monitor here. So if you are called, you can come up and select while Michael stands here. There are glass hearts. They're reddish-orange in color, and they're reminders to follow your heart. Joe, will you go ahead?
that dream is as close as your heart, nearer than your hands and feet, closer than the air that you breathe. So take a deep breath with me, a collective breath with each of us, and know that you are that great I am that I am. Today I am grateful for spirit in my life, spirit expressing as each one here, making it real, following their heart, and recognizing that we, all of the we on this planet, are a masterpiece. So this ends our meditation service for this morning. If you appreciate the benefits of this, there will be Prosperity Acceptors standing at the back of the room. Our service starts at 10, so please feel free to stand up, stretch your legs, and come back for an amazing morning of love and gratitude. Thank you. Mm -hmm.